Hi, welcome to the Akuvox technical channel. This video introduces how to set up the integration between Akuvox and Control 4. Through the integration, users can make calls, open doors, and view the live stream from Akuvox door phones on the Control 4 panel. This video guides you through configuring the C4 Composer and Akuvox devices step by step using the door phone E16V2 and indoor monitor S562 as examples. Before you begin, ensure that your device version supports Control 4 integration. If it doesn't, upgrade to the required version. Check the supported model and version in the video introduction. Once your devices are updated, activate the integration and disable specific switches, such as discovery mode, to facilitate communication between the Control 4 and Akuvox devices. For some models, like the X915V2, activating integration can be done with a single switch. Use the device IP scanned by IP scanner to log in to its web interface. The initial username and password are admin. For the first time login, you are required to modify the password for security. Go to Device, Control 4. Activate the integration. For other models like E16V2, you need to disable Discovery Mode and High Security Mode individually. Go to the Network, Advanced Interface. Find the Connect setting part to disable the Discovery Mode. Go to the System, Security Interface to disable the High Security Mode. Reboot the device on System, Upgrade Interface to activate the integration. As for indoor monitors, Linux indoor monitors such as S562 and S565 have a Control 4 mode switch available. Go to the Network, Advanced Interface. Find the Connect setting part. Disable Discovery Mode and ensure the Connect mode is set to None. Enable Control 4 mode. The device will reboot after that. If you have an indoor monitor like the S567 that lacks this switch, simply disable Discovery Mode and set Connect mode to None then manually reboot the device. Let's start configuration of the Composer. Akuvox devices support Composer OS 3.4.1 and higher. Click Discovered on the right items menu. The devices on the same local network will display. Double click to add it. If the device's driver is not added, you will see the prompt. To download drivers, visit the Akuvox knowledge base with the link provided in the video introduction. Then, Click Driver in the upper left corner of the Composer and select Add or Update Driver or Agent. Upload the driver. Do the same to upload the indoor monitor's driver. To add the door phone to a room, double-click it, and it will appear with the default name, AK Door Station, which you can rename for easier identification. If the device isn't connected to the Composer, its information won't display. To establish a connection, navigate to Connections, Network, where you can check the online status of devices. If a device appears offline, select it, enter its IP address, and close the window to bring it online. Upon a successful connection, the device's Mac, firmware version, hardware version, and model are shown. You can change some settings on the system design interface and update them to the door phone. The web username and password are used to access the device's web interface. The call group option is used to initiate a group call on the door phone. Without configuring communication, this option will be blank. With it configured, there will be a default group named All, which only contains Control 4 panels. You can create a new group and add desired contacts to it, which we will explain later. The Relay via HTTP feature allows door opening via HTTP command. Keep it on if you want to use this feature. The relay username and password are credentials required for the HTTP command. After changing the settings, click Actions and update the changes to the door phone. The Akuvox device will automatically register a SIP account upon connection. Go to Account, Basic to verify that a SIP account is registered, with the server address being the C4 controller's IP address. Please note that if the device is also deployed on the Smart Plus Cloud, by default, Account 1 is used for Cloud Account Registration, while Account 2 is for C4. You will also find the device listed as AK Intercom on the C4 panel, allowing you to make calls. 
To initiate a call from the door phone, add the C4 panel as a contact to the door phone. Check the C4 panel's number by going to System Design, Intercom under the device name. Go to the directory, User Interface. Click Add to add a new user. Enter the username and scroll to the Contact Details section. Enter the C4 panel's SIP number. Now, call the C4 panel by tapping it in the default group. You can customize a group and add devices to it. In the Composer, go to Agents, Communication Interface. Click New to create a new group. If you do not find communication, click Add to add it. Move the desired devices from the left to the right box. Here we add the C4 panel and the indoor monitor. Then, click File in the upper left corner and select Refresh Navigators to update the configuration to the C4 panel. Next, in System Design, select the Akuvox device. In the Call Group drop-down, select the newly created group. Go to Actions and click Update Contact to update the configuration to the door phone. Now, go to the tenant list on the door phone where call groups are displayed. Tap the group to see the contacts in it. Tap the call button next to the group. Both the C4 panel and indoor monitor receive the call. To view the live stream from the door phone during the call preview, you are required to enable the camera feature in the composer. In system design, click AK intercom under the target device. Check use alternate camera and select AK camera under the desired device. Then, click File in the upper left corner and select Refresh Navigators to update the configuration to the C4 panel. Let's proceed to relay settings for door opening. Through configuration, users can press the Unlock button on the C4 panel to open the door. Search for the lock driver in My Drivers on the Items menu. Double-click to add it with the default name door lock. Customize the name if needed. To bind the door lock to the door phone relay, navigate to Connections, Control AV, and find the door phone. Drag and drop the relay onto the desired door lock. Then, go to System Design. Select AK Intercom under the target device. Check Use Custom button. You can change the button name. To bind the button to the door lock, go to the Programming. Select the device. Select the action to trigger the relay, such as UI button 1 pressed. Next, search for the lock in the device actions and select it. In the Commands field, select Toggle the Room option. Double-click or drag and drop toggle the room onto script actions to achieve the binding. Remember to update the configuration to the C4 panel. Let's see how this feature works. Call the C4 panel from the Akuvox door phone. Tap the unlock button during the call to successfully open the door. The door phone can be connected to a doorbell button through the input ports. By triggering inputs, certain actions can be carried out. This section takes initiating a group call as an example. Search for doorbell in my drivers and double click to add the button. Customize its name as needed. Then, you need to bind the button to the door phone's input. Go to Connections Interface and select AK Intercom under the door phone. Drag and drop the input onto the desired button. Then, you need to decide the action after users press the button. Go to Programming. Select the doorbell button and choose the event that triggers the device's input. Next, select AK Intercom of the door phone in the right device actions. Choose the desired intercom feature. Since we take making group calls as an example, here we enable group call and select the target group. Then, click Conditionals and select True for the In a Call is option. Go back to Command. Drag and drop the action onto the script actions to achieve the binding. Remember to update the configuration to the C4 panel. Now, let's see how this feature works. Press the button connected to the door phone's input. C4 panel receives the call. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment. We'll make more technical videos to help you set up a Kuvox products and solutions. Thanks for watching.